Recorded live in Atlanta, Georgia at the Legacy Worldwide Studio. Welcome to part two of the 100th episode of Your World with Creflo. Featuring the Grammy-nominated singer, songwriter, and actor, Tyrese Gibson, and his wife, Samantha Lee Gibson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Creflo Dollar. Welcome back to part two of our 100th episode celebration. Now, we have a lot more happening on today's show, so we want to get right into it, but just in case you miss what happened last week, Let's take a look. Did you find the woman that you can live with, or did you find the woman you can't live without? I found a woman I can't live without. I married my best friend. We talk about everything. We have six, seven hour long conversations. Mm -hmm. It's my baby. Samantha, this actor, singer, songwriter, and you getting ready to even consider being with Tyrese? That was part of the hesitation why it took so long. And then when we met, we clicked. And I was still like, I don't know, you know, I don't want to end up like the movie Temptation. And I kept praying and praying and I was like, God, you can send me a burning bush. I'm not going to run from the burning bush. But it turned out that he was just as genuine as he says he was. A lot of folks don't know this, but Pastor Dollar actually did our premarital counseling sessions and yeah. we got married by Pastor Dollar yeah. and we just want y'all to know we took all of the necessary steps to solidify the best marriage that we could possibly have. On today's second part of our 100th episode celebration, Tyrese Gibson and his wife, Samantha, are back with us. Now, we'll also take a look back at some of the most controversial topics. We're going to showcase what God's grace can do and will do in the lives of people who just don't understand his power and his love. God is real, and he's here today. Amen? Yeah. So look, why don't you text a friend and share with a loved one because this is one show you don't want to miss. Next on Your World. I tried to live right, you tried to keep me down. You know, I but raised I my hand at that enough. church service, and I said, Lord Jesus, man. come into my heart. That I've been before, I'm fine, man. It's kind of crazy, like my feet are lifting off the ground. I'm touching heaven with my hands now to get the sound. But though I'm flying, my head is still level and I won't be bound. God has called you, and he's called everybody, you know? We all got a calling. And it looks real bright. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Just refuse to quit when you're down and get back up again. I forgive myself. Thank you. I need a face scratch on it. That's great. That's what it is. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Welcome to Tank. Let me shout on that. Come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tyrese Gibson and his wife, Samantha Lee. Congratulations on your 100th, 100th episode. episode. That's uh, like, and we're honored to be here. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. Uh, nothing just happens. You didn't just wake up one day and Bam, you are who you are today. Take us into your world. Take us before 
the Tyrese that was singing on the back of the bus at the, the Coke commercial. <laughs> Take us, Sam, back into your world before you heard the song, The Day You Got Born Again. For me, I feel like in my life, and I'm not gonna go into my life story or anything, but my background isn't squeaky clean, obviously. None of us are perfect, but um, I didn't come from the best of everything or anything like that. My, our family had struggles and everybody's got their own level of dysfunction. Mine was pretty dysfunctional. My whole life was not peaceful. It was fights. My father left. Just a lot of things I was dealing with, you know. And one day, there's a woman, and her name is Christy, and she prayed a verse to me about peace. And I just remember just sobbing on the wall. I can feel myself now just on the walls, going down, just crying, like I just want peace. Like why, why did my life have to be so complicated? Mm -hmm. I remember the song, um, which Dr. Dollar's referring to, is Worth Fighting For, which was a song that Brian Courtney Wilson came out with. I remember hearing that song and feeling like I was just not worth it. Like I just wasn't. Mm. Like if God really knew me or knew what I was struggling with, oh, I hate crying. It's okay, man. It's, <laughs> all right. it's all right. But if God really, like he knew everything about me, if he knew everything about me the way that I knew me, he wouldn't love me. And the song just kind of, it sparked something in me that I was still worth loving and worth fighting for. And I rededicated and I haven't been the same since. You know, that, that, that is a very powerful testimony of God's grace because the number of people that live their lives every day today and they wake up thinking, God can't love me. Right. I've just done too much for God to love. I've gone too far. And he's already made a decision to love us. And there's nothing we can do to stop his love for us. His love for us is unchangeable. It's eternal. It's everlasting. And, and the thing we do is we try to love God before we realize how much he loves us. Mm -hmm. So it's not about really how much I love God. It's will I believe that God loves me with an undying, undeniable love. That's a powerful testimony. That's, isn't it? Powerful. That's a powerful, powerful testimony. And I, I really, I really appreciate you sharing that. Um, I, I really could not explain the mental, emotional, physical, psychological abuse that had took place in my house. My mother was an alcoholic for 27 years. Father was alcoholic and crackhead. There was something inside of me that I felt greater than my circumstances. It was this fire and desire. See, I'm not just a talent. I am desire, I'm determination, I'm perseverance. I'm so many more things and what the world sees is kind of the outcome of God's works and, and his grace. Mm. And so I had to give myself permission without mentors, without a big brother, without a father to say I actually deserve better. And then every time I look to my right, God's grace and his hand was on my shoulder. And then you start wondering, like, why me? Man, you better come on, boy. Why, why, did, why are you doing mm. this for me? Like, why, why am I still alive? Why haven't I been to jail? Why, why am I not one of the homies that's in the box right now, dead, uh, that's on some pour out a little liquor? Why didn't that happen for me? I was right there with the Crips, with the Bloods, with the, with the essays, with the drive-bys. I done seen too many of my homies get popped right in front of me. And <laughs> clearly, God had an assignment over my life. Oh, yeah. A hundred shows ago, that's what this was about. <laughs> it was about taking real people with real situations and saying to them, God's not mad at you. He's not even in a bad mood where you're concerned. He's already decided to love you. There's nothing you can do to run him away from you. His grace is enough. His, his mercy is everlasting. His name is sufficient for any situation. I, I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. I need to leave that thing alone. Uh, what, 
What do you do with haters? Well, there's a couple things, because we talk about it all the time. Haters got a job to do. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to be unemployed. <laughs> Nobody wants yeah. to be unemployed. So, you know, <laughs> instead of only being affected by what haters have to say, sometimes you can actually learn a lot from haters. If they're, if they're hating on you and they're like being informative instead of just being mean and just trying to tear you all the way out. But I think at the end of the day, when you have God in your life and you are, are close and you're honest with each other, you don't necessarily <coughs> rely or allow for the energy of haters to, to affect you on that level, to like get in the way of, of God's purpose over your life. You know, at first, to be honest, it got to me, but you know, I kept praying and I kept saying to myself, like, I'm allowing this energy to affect my everyday life. And these people don't do anything for me. They serve no other purpose but to tear me down. And so I really had to go to God about letting it go and really focusing that energy into my marriage and making it work. You know, this is what I'm talking about, the example that you guys have. And it's not just going to be, you know, this normal celebrity type of marriage. I think you're on a mission and I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you both. I'm proud of you both. Uh, Favor ain't fair. That's right. God lifts up who he wants to lift up, bring down who he wants to bring down. But we receive permission when Jesus died on that cross, when he said, it is finished, he gave every man permission to be successful. You have permission to walk in the finished works of Jesus Christ and the powerful grace that Tyrese and Samantha shared with us today. This grace is available to you. Thank you for being a part of your world's 100th episode celebration. And when we return, we'll continue looking back at the first 100 shows of changing and transforming lives. The celebration continues right here on Your World. This show not only blessed my own life, but it has been thousands of people have reached out and uh, have given their life to Christ, man. It's like, once I came on this show, God was already using me already, but the anointing that is part of this show, I have a prayer line that, and I tell you, the lost came pouring in, and, and I say, man, this show helped me build a net to change and save so many people like I'm just grateful to be one to say that God is real and I'm an example of that. Creflo Dollar is more committed than ever to his mission of saving and transforming lives. Now it's your time to be an agent of change in your world. Say yes with your tax-deductible gift of just $35. Creflo will immediately send you his five-part life course, The Grace Life Collection. Each session will provide solutions to release power in every area of your life. You'll also get your own Grace Certificate. Not only will your support help your world expand to more markets and more stations, you'll transform lives and give others the tools they need to receive God's grace in life. Stand with Creflo. Respond today. So you guys end up getting married. Yes. And life was going well. It was much more than I could have ever dreamed of. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I was like, okay, I want to be married. I want to have this life. But I mean, Nikki just was amazing. He was, he just made, marriage was fun. I'm going to skip all the way over now to Nikki's accident. That Saturday morning, when I was coming back from the hair salon, uh, my mom came over. Nikki wasn't feeling well. So my mom, I asked her, can she come over and watch Nicholas? Mm -hmm. I'm like, where's Nikki? And she said, um, I said, oh, is he laying down? She was like, no, he went to the gym. My phone started ringing. So I picked up the phone, I was like, hello. He's like, you know, are you, Ms. is this Miss Bonner? And I said, yes. And he's like, are you the wife of Nikki Bonner? I said, yes. And he was like, um, we need you to come down to Grady. And I was like, what, what do you mean, come to Grady? He was like, I can't. And I was like, what is this about? And he said, I can't talk about it. I can't tell you about it over the phone. We get down to the um, hospital. They brought me into this little room. It seemed like an eternity. The doctor comes in with the whole team of people. And he was, <laughs> 
And then that's when you found out it was, that he was gone, right? The officer came and she said, I have to tell you something. And I said, okay. She said, are you listening to me? I said, yeah. She says, your daughter is dead. She says, your husband is dead. She says, your son's been shot in the head and he's on his way to the hospital in that helicopter. And I thought, how can this happen? So we're talking about a, a murder suicide. Yeah. He killed the kids and then turned the gun on himself. When it first happened, I went to the mental institute and the doctor or well, the nurse said, take these pills. And then when the pills would run out, because they only give you so much, somebody said, drink this girl. So half of the day, I was on pills. The other half, I was on alcohol. It's like I stopped living when my kids died. I wanted to pray, but I was mad at God. I was mad. Millions of people experience depression. It's external pressures entering into your heart, weighing you down. Mm -hmm. So how do you deal with that? I think about number one, let not your heart be troubled. To not allow trouble to come into my heart and weigh me down. Mm -hmm. Number two, I've got to make sure that I'm speaking to the mountain mm -hmm. and not just about the mountain. Finally, you begin to understand the power of praise. Mm -hmm. Praise rebukes depression. And now, please welcome Fallon Bond and Nikki Payne. Life isn't always easy. Sometimes it can be a real struggle with financial and job troubles, family and marital problems, grief and loss, and even crises of faith. Your world has faced these issues head on and used these stories to deliver a healing message of grace to viewers struggling with similar issues. Here's a quick look back at some of your world's most powerful shows on dealing with life's challenges. The diabetic ulcer was, the poison was coming through my body. You now face with the very thing you feared the most. Right. Okay. You've got to make a decision. <sighs> You're going back and forth, right. back and forth. What helped you to make this decision? I was pretty much fighting the doctor, saying I didn't want it to be cut off. I didn't want it to be cut off. And <laughs> He was basically letting me know that it was either that or, or dying. So my daughter, she asked everybody out the room. She just basically said, um, Dad, we need you. I'm a human being. I'm, I'm a person that bleeds. I'm a person that cries. I. I walk, I talk, I, I pray, I, I go through the everything else that everybody else in this world goes through. It's just that a little bit of my life is just on TV. I love a lot, I share, but I'm also wounded. So you grew up in an abusive house? Badly. Me and my brother were attacked all the time. We did not deserve the beatdowns that we got, and then she allowed it. You know, apparently you've experienced frustration, you've experienced pain and you've experienced uh, probably fear. You don't have to live all of your life being dominated by this fear, it's fear. The word they use to describe what, I, what I've been diagnosed with is incurable. In other words, my body may live a very long time, but the cancer will never be eradicated. We're just fighting it here and there with treatment. Well, our God, with God, nothing's impossible, so I refuse to receive incurable. Mm -hmm. And I had to make up my mind every day that it was possible yes. that I could live a long life. And so that's what, that's how I face the enemy. I quote the scripture to him just like Jesus did mm -hmm. in the desert. It's in doing for others that I forget my circumstances and I feel like I am lifted above the clouds. I come home so happy that I was able to minister to somebody. Lord, hold me, please, Jesus. <laughs> Your World is a powerful show, and my wife, my late wife and I were on it. We would go different places, and people would see us, 
And they'd say, weren't you guys on your world? We'd say yes. And with a smile on their face, you could tell the impact this show was having on people. All over this place, God is reaching people through this broadcast, bringing hope and the revelation of God's love to them. Your world has been um, absolutely an amazing instrument that God has used to take me literally around the world. It's also given myself healing. It's been like a two-edged sword as I sat down and, and confided and communicated with Dr. Dollar. Um, he was able to give me sound advice and amazing wisdom to give me strength for today and hope for tomorrow to keep living. Thank you, Dr. Dollar, and thank God for Jesus and his grace. Please welcome marital advisor, life coach, and motivational speaker, Sean Luter. If you look at the daily headlines in today's paper, or the internet, or social media, you will see the subjects that run emotions high. Subjects that many talk shows might avoid, but not your world with Creflo. This show stands for the love and the grace of God, and is unafraid to tackle anything. Racism, sexual abuse, bullying, alcoholism, devil worship, suicide, pornography, and gender identification. Here's a look at how your world has dealt with some of the most controversial subjects. I just wanted to make sure people understood the hurt and the pain from any parent that, first of all, loses a child, but to lose a child this way, it makes you feel powerless because you can't change the circumstance. I it's definitely asked why did it happen to my son. Yeah, yeah. That was the first thing that came out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah. Your parents, all right, something would be wrong with you if you could pick a date where you say, this ain't gonna bother me no more. There ain't nothing in the world that's gonna ever cause you to be all right with my son not being here. Right. But you're gonna have moments where you're gonna be extremely proud of him extremely proud of what he stands for and the lives that have been impacted because of what he had to go through. You know, I was running track, I played football, I kicked, I was the kicker on the football team, so I was athletic, you know, and I was in a car club. I was, you know, I was a guy, yeah. you know, but I had this girl in the purple dress inside me. Mm -hmm. So by the time I hit uh, 38 years old, I'm thinking, man, I, I, from all I can see, you know, I should change genders to resolve the problem. My world had collapsed. I went to a church. I went into the pastor and I sat down in the church. I, I'm Laura at the time. You know, I'm, I'm going into recovery. I'm Laura Jensen. I lived that way for eight years. And I said, you're not going to try to change me, are you? Thinking I didn't want him to pressure me to go back to being Walt. He kind of rolled back in his big chair and he looked at me and says, no. He said, my job is to love you. God's job to change it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. We come to the day where you get a phone call informing you that your son has been arrested. The officer told me that he was being charged with armed robbery. It, it just went downhill from there. I didn't know what to think. All I could think was, there's no way. Days start going by, days start going by. I don't even know what's going on, so emotionally, I was like, you know, what's going on? You know, here's the thing I want both of you guys to hear. When you know you hadn't done anything, and when these situations happen, God has perfected everything that concerns you. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. I want you to welcome Keisha and Alex right back to the Your World Show. This was probably the show that I was just the most frustrated afterwards because I'm like, how can this happen in the United States of America? If you could just briefly tell us what was going on, and then I'd like to hear how it turned out. I was told that my son and his three friends went into this nail salon with guns drawn, all four of them, put guns to this man's head and said, give me the candy or I'm gonna blow your head off. I knew that wasn't true. We looked up and we were still in court, and they were really trying to get my son 40 years in prison. Like 40 real, years in prison. Real prison. That's Needless crazy. to say, God said case dismissed. He will be walking across the stage graduating next Thursday. We fought for that. We fought for that.
<laughs> well, again, thank you for the part that you guys played in sharing your story and allowing us to come into your world. We helped a lot of people that day. I pray that the next 100 episodes are just as amazing, but we can't continue to help reach and transform these lives without you, our Your World family. If you just made the decision to partner with Your World and our ministry to reach so many more people in need of counseling and the grace of God, then from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. If you've not yet made a commitment, that's okay too. Please continue to support us by spreading the word through social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and visit us often at yourworldwithcreplo.com. Thank you again for 100 wonderful episodes. Let's make it 100 more. God bless you. Helping real people with real issues find real solutions. This has been the mission of Your World with Creflo since the first show aired 99 episodes ago. Together, we've watched, cried, and laughed as real people and celebrity guests alike shared their stories, racism, sexual abuse, bullying, alcoholism, suicide, pornography are just a few of the real issues Creflo Dollar and your world have faced head on. Creflo Dollar is more committed than ever to his mission of saving and transforming lives. Now it's your time to be an agent of change in your world. Say yes with your tax deductible gift of just $35. Creflo will immediately send you his blockbuster five part life course, The Grace Life Collection. Each session will provide solutions to release power in your relationships, your finances, and every area of your life. You'll also get your own grace certificate. Proudly display this keepsake in your office or home to show your commitment to sharing hope and grace around the world. Want more? With your special tax-deductible gift of $100 or more, you will receive a commemorative package celebrating your world's first 100 episodes. Exclusive to this package is Creflo's all-new Your World Life Empowerment Series. This series focuses on helping you recover the divine identity you were created to have. And that's not all. You'll also receive the special two-DVD Your World Centennial episode featuring the complete uncut interview with Tyrese Gibson you saw today. You only saw a small portion of this engaging discussion. There's so much you missed that you must see as Tyrese and Samantha reveal some of the intimate parts of their storybook relationship. These special 100th episode commemorative items are limited and once they're gone, they're gone. Not only will your support help your world expand to more markets and more stations, you'll transform lives and give others the tools they need to receive God's grace in life. Stand with Creflo. Respond today. Thank you, partners and friends. Your love and financial support makes it possible to bring this message into millions of homes all across the globe.